Muadim Simcha, happy Sukkot. This is Arya Sonnenberg from Zahut International and Zahut Anglos outside the Zahut Feiglin gathering in Beit Shemesh. I'm going to take you inside in just a moment. This is the Sukkah behind me. Take you inside in just a moment. Mo Moshe is about to speak. So uh, let's see if we can turn things around here and see what's going on inside. Albert Levy is currently speaking. and by the high, the high court of justice, okay? And it is against democracy. It's against democracy because most of the judges are not elected by the people and because one of the most, one of the uh, most important principles in, in democracy is separation between the legislative power, the executive power, and the judiciary power. And here the ju judiciary power is taking part of le legislative power. So it's not... Uh, it's not at all democracy, it's, not, it's the opposite of democracy. And the third part of the political reforms that we have to do is that we have to see the truth as it is. And it is, the fact is that today we have around 10% of the Knesset members, the Reshima Metushet in Hebrew, who are the, um, the Arabs uh, sitting at the Knesset, many of them have, did cooperate actively with the terror in the past, we have many, many stories, you heard about them, and even when they did not cooperate actively, they silently approve. So, in fact, we have enemies in the Knesset. This is not democracy. It is a cynical uh, uh, exploitation of democracy. This has to be stopped, and there are ways to, to change this fact uh, while uh, securing our democracy. Absolutely, it is possible. So I would say that the main, the three main reasons for which I am in the hood are Eretz Israel, economy, and the change in the political system overall. Thank you. I would like, if you have any questions. Manager, please. Okay, I, uh, before, before Moshe speaks, first of all, welcome Moshe, thank you for joining us. Um, I'd like to call on uh, Rabbi Ben Sion Spitz, who is a candidate for Zahud International, to give a Devar Torah. Okay. Uh, uh, our host, Mishkaf Sonnenberg, uh, Russian Noir, my teacher, Shmuel. Uh, we read yesterday in the Bet Knesset, uh, Kohelet. And he has a line that repeats itself throughout, Hebel Havalim. It's all meaningless, it's all worthless, uh, about a multiplicity of efforts and activities we do in life. And we might think that our political efforts are meaningless. And I want to share something I just read by Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, former chief rabbi of uh, the UK. And he highlights that when Shlomo Amelech is talking about Hebel Havalim, it's always when Shlomo Melch is saying, I did this, I accomplished that. Our efforts are centered on us as individuals. Whenever it's ego, uh, it is all for the betterment of uh, Israel, it's all for Tikkun Olam, the Mahmoud Shaddai. And without further ado, I give the floor to our uh, Rosh Hashanah. Coming here to uh, some of us coming here from Mysuka, like, like Albert. And uh, we had a meeting of, more, of many of our candidates in Mesut today and made a toast. And at the toast, I said to the candidate, 
my sukkah, by the way, is much quieter than this. <laughs> because Ginot Shalom is not yeah. uh, so big. I mean. We allow our uh, buses during the week. You don't even have buses during the week here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have buses on Shabbat <laughs> and on. <laughs> and so I'll just repeat to what I said to our candidates. I told, I told them that. Uh, even though, you know, each one of us looking at himself and saying, yeah, am I the message? Who am I? I mean, I hope that's what we're saying to ourselves. Is it me? Who am I? That carrying this, uh, supposed to carry, supposed to represent the people of Israel, supposed to change the Israeli history or whatever. I'm just, uh, we all know our our weaknesses and how small we are. Uh, but the point is not each individual. Mm -hmm. And by the way, <laughs> with, with all due respect, the, the, the candidates of Zahut, and I can tell you from being in the Knesset next to the other 119, are definitely not any less than any other Knesset member in the Knesset today. Probably between you and me, more. <laughs> However, except Orun Chazan. Except of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the, 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 that's not the point. It's really not the point. The point is that the Zahut party and the Zahut candidates is much, much, much bigger than the sum of its individual. I can talk about our ideology. I can talk about our platform from now till tomorrow morning. You can hear from our candidates on our economical platform on what do we think, what, what our, our political platform, what are we going to do with the, with the, with the education, what are we going to do? And, and we do have a great platform that no one else has. I'm sure you, you're aware of that. But there's much, much, something much bigger than that that's already happening here. Look what's, what happened here. We called people to join the party, to register the party. And people did it on their own will. We did not pick the people that joined the party. Okay, so we had about, we had about 2,500 people something like that, who voted at the, at the other primaries on their own will, own will. Heard about the hood, heard about the message, joined the party, and participated in the election, in the internal, internal election. And what came out? Came out a list, a list, and you never saw anything in politics. You have religious, non-religious, men, women, people who really represent all segments, almost all segments, of the Israeli population. There is, you cannot underestimate what's going on here. It's a restart of the whole definition of the Israeli society, of the old concepts that we had before. It's not a sectorial party. It's not a religious party. It's a non-religious party. It's the real, original combination, original Jewish combination of identity and freedom. Freedom and identity. Not as something that needs to compromise with the other side, but, but as a holistic thing, as, 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 as something that belongs at two parts of the same body, of the same ideology. Uh, I think that this is already a tremendous achievement that uh, excites me. It excites me to see Gilad Alper, for example, winning number four the first place on, on the Zahut list, and right after him, Mitzah Kahana. Okay, now, we used to, we, we used to, in any other 
circumstances, okay? No one of us will think of oh, these two individuals, Gilad, Gilad Alper and Nitzah Kahana, as, as <coughs> two members of the same party. She falls immediately into the draw of ultra-religious extreme right. I assume Gilad <laughs> falls in the, the draw of uh, non, ultra-non-religious and uh, liberal or whatever. What do they do together? And it's not, it's not, right? It's not, it, it doesn't look, but hey, it didn't happen because somebody technically picked the two individuals like me or somebody else and put them in. It happened naturally. Okay, so something new was born over here. It goes together. Freedom is, is a basic, <coughs> is the basic concept of Judaism. Cherut Yarda Laolam from Mount Sinai. Okay, the concept of liberty, the concept of liberty is a Jewish concept. I, I, I assume there are some some little, little some of us are Americans over here know something about the, the American Constitution. Okay, where where did the the founding fathers took their ideas of freedom from? Aristotle, Cicero, John Locke, and they. And also the where they, where the did they, Bible. Where, the Bible. and they, Bible. and they, where did I'm they not going to say from the Bible. I'm going to tell you though that the the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution have not one Christian thing within them. It's us. It's Yahadut. Every single thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's all from our side. Isn't it about time that freedom will be represented? Freedom for the whole world will be will be represented from the source. I mean, they, this is exactly what they expected from us 100 years ago when, when, at, at the Balfour Declaration, and he said that. They expected from us to create a nation of liberty that will radiate those ideas, those, 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 those concepts of freedom and uh, under, under one God to the entire world after the horrible uh, events of World War I. Okay, so, and then it was the end of the big optimism of the 19th century. And where are we going from here? Let's send the Jews back to the promised land. <laughs> and they will create a society that show humanity the way. Okay? So basically, those concepts of freedom are, are not against Judaism. It's the basic of Judaism. On one hand. And faith. And loyalty to the land. And to our heritage, and to our, and to our Torah, from, from the other, the combination of both. This is the message of the Zehut. It's it's bigger, stronger. So all the explanations, okay, of what exactly how are we going to do with uh, this? It's very important to have to know exactly what you want from yourself in different aspects of life education, security, and so on. But if you look already now at what's going on in Zahut right now, there's nothing. It's a miracle. It's a miracle that's happening to us and and Bala Nes Matil Baniso. Okay? So it's probably hard for us to realize what is happening here. To my opinion, <coughs> our ability to develop this connection between the freedom part of Zahut and the identity <coughs> part of Zahut together and, and, and have already uh, a dialogue and development, ideological development between, between these two parts, those who grew up and came into the Zahut from the Zahut part, from the identity part, people who kept to Al vote and so on and came, and came to, and those who came to Zahut from the liber liberty part, from, from the freedom part. And, 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 and get and get that uh, 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 two messages to one holistic message. This is the big challenge for us. Hopefully, the Zat Hashem will, 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 will do it. And uh, we feel we are very optimistic. We're very optimistic. We feel that uh, something very serious is happening. Something that's much bigger than us and our talents and our efforts. <coughs> and with God willing, we'll see the results in our eyes.
as soon as can be already in the coming election and uh, we'll get the lead of the Israeli nation uh, as quick as can be uh, with your, with your, with each one of you, you uh, participating and uh, joining forces with us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much Ali, again for for your hospitality. Yeah, you want, you want I, I, I meant to introduce you with a, with a, one of the verses that we read in Kohelet yesterday. I'll wait for the bus to pass because I've been here long enough to know you have to wait. Ashreich Eretz Shemalkech Ben Chorin. Happy are you, O land, whose king is a free man. Yeah. I just want to, sorry, sir, I just want to add two very tachlis points. Number one, uh, I get all the time a question, when are elections? Now, believe it or not, there is a date. It's sometime in November 2019. That's in two years. Now, of course it could be earlier, but let's put that aside. Let's assume it's going to be in two years. Campaigning starts six months before, which is a year and a half from now. When do you think we should start getting involved in a campaign that's going to start in a year and a half? Right now. Right now. Yesterday. Yesterday. So we need everybody here to start talking to their neighbors, to start spreading the word. If we wait for a year and a half, Chaval al-Azman, now is the time. And of course, it could be in a lot less than that. Allah could come up, but just assuming with the regular date, putting predictions on the side, a year and a half from now starts campaign season. And therefore, the time is now to get funds, to get votes, to get influence, to get endorsements, to get people talking about Zuhud. Very important, and we need you for that. To we put, are to put your stickers on your cars. We and, are uh, signs behind buttons. your window. We are your chayalim. If you feel we should speak to this group of people, if you speak, uh, if you feel there's someone that there's a chance of solicitation of funds, there we are ready to go. If somebody is very interested in the economic side. We'll send Gilad there. We have different people that are experts. We have Russians, French, in addition to everything else. This man is also a Spanish speaker. We have a lot of things that we need to do, and the time is yesterday. That's number one. Number two, everybody always asks me, just not even a WhatsApp, so are you joining with Eli Yishai? Are you joining with Baruch Marzel? Are you joining with uh, Moshe Dayan? I don't know. The Golden Mayor? Okay. So the answer is yes. We're going to join with everybody. We're going to talk to everybody. We're going to but not now. Now is the time to build ourselves up. We will talk to whoever we have to talk to at the right time, I promise you of that. But not now. Now is the time we need to build ourselves up. When do you want, if you want to talk about strategic alliances, if you're going to talk when you're weak and nebbish and you need them a hundred times more than they need you, what are we doing? Now's the time to build ourselves up. And then when it comes time for strategic alliances, however the chess game of Israeli politics plays itself out, we're in a different situation. So therefore, now's the time to build ourselves up, now's the time to be strong, and now's the time to reach out and really bring the message of Zahut to everybody you know. Excellent, excellent. Set up a Not a problem. As you realize, no. uh, Uri Ariel is one of my neighbors. Is that as, as, in the same area. Wonderful as we were I speaking about, I talk, actually made a mistake and <laughs> talked to him once in the car. As we were speaking about before, once you have a rakaz, if you've started to vote for a coordinator, you can bring all your suggestions to them. They will bring them up to the people who need to make those things happen. Good so luck. Get, the only one there. get in. Get in. You don't. They don't have to be local. They can be anywhere. There's a few people here who are Rakazim who are interested in, in it. Be happy to represent you.
Questions for Moshe or Albert or and Gilad or Lisa? You one asked. second, you've already had the floor. Let's let's see if anybody else has questions. Yes, David. Loudly, please. Uh, this is a question probably mostly to Moshe, but also to all of you. Um, speaking personally, I know that I feel comfortable with every of me and everybody who's living here in Eretz Yisrael. But I have to admit that I feel even a greater level of comfort with people who are, quote unquote, like myself uh, in the Dati camp or have certain kinds of, a certain, I mean, no, certain, you know, basic uh, beliefs that. We have different people in the fact, certain numbers on the list. My assumption, my question, question, rhetorical question to you. I mean, unfortunately, Nitsa is not here at the moment. Rhetorically, I would ask to you, okay, being elected to the list, if you feel comfortable with those Dati people or whatever who are on the list, and I would turn to Nitsa and ask what her level of comfort is with those who are not as Dati v'chule, and I really turning the question to Moshe, as the Yosef, Yosef Rosh, that there's going to be a necessity uh, there's going to be a necessity to bring everybody with all of their different deot and all of their different thinking together. You're not going to have a more, I want to have a list of people where each one says they're part of Zimut, but what does that really mean? They all, you want to somehow or other present to the nation a group of people who, while they may have different emunot, different stances on something, on the issues, they're going to feel like one unified group together. That's Thank you, David. Good question. Oh, no, no, yeah. It's ultimately to you. Yeah, address to you, so. Okay, uh, as I tried to explain before, I see this exactly as the biggest challenge. And if we we'll fail in that building, if we're not going to succeed in that challenge, nothing is going to happen. This is, this is deep inside. This is the question of success or failure. Because after talking about these concept for, concepts for 20 years, we finally putting them on the table in front of the Israeli society, calling people to be involved around this concept. These concepts, we, when we start, those of you who follow us for the last 20 years know from that, that from the very beginning we said <coughs> we should start talking in those language of Datiim and Chilonim. These terms are not relevant anymore. And to say it was easy. <coughs> Is something else, and we do it. Now, we have our platform was written by all members of the group, but those of you who were involved, each one of you as a member of the group could have been part of, the, of, of writing the platform. The, the group of people, the Vaidat Amatsa, Okay. Uh, uh, include religious and non-religious members, and it's very important to understand. So, so first of all, there is a so-called I don't I want I don't <coughs> call it Bible, but we have we have a a a, a, a binding document. Binding document, he said. <laughs> yeah, okay, I like that. Thank you. We have something that each one of us read. <laughs> represents us together, we can lean on something. I already heard uh, um, Gilad, for example, giving an interview on the radio, that's a bit, but for to a Haredi interviewer, uh, uh, and he asked him, but other people saying different, he said, I'm bored in the Matzah. So both sides have something to lean on. We, 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 we both represent the same Matzah. Let me tell you Bobby, something about that matzah. That matzah is not a compromise. It's not like uh, uh, not the fiction. famous document of uh, of what's their name was uh, uh, ex judge and a rabbi from Gush Etzion. What? Ah, Gabizon 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 Gabizon
great individual and I, I have a tremendous appreciation for both of them. And they came out with a, with a document of compromise of how the, the, the a Jewish state can function, how the Shabbat should look like and so on. They came out with a compromise. It's not Gabizon Meidan, very famous. If you Google it, you see. It's not what it is. It's not a Bedi'evit paper. It's a Lechatchila. We say, this is Judaism. We challenge both sides. This is Judaism, this is Israelism. We challenge, we're challenging both sides, religious and non-religious, with a restart of the whole Israelism and Judaism definition. I, th I think that just for that book, this 312 pages of the Isra of the the, 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 the Zahut, uh, uh, platform, everything was worthwhile already. The whole 20 years of work and every, uh, as we say, as we say, as we say in the uh, Agadah Shel Pesach, Dayenu. Yeah, of course, we're not stopping here, but just for that, it was it would have been Dayenu. It's a paradigm shift. Yes, it's. it's I think since. Since uh, uh, um, the Jewish state, I don't know how to say it in German, as Herzl wrote it, not a Yudin, the Judenstadt of Herzl, nothing like that was written, okay? As, as far as I know, okay? So, um, um, there, is, there, there is a new concept, there is a new language. Uh, it, it is true that we walking our f that we're doing our first steps, and it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Our candidates, and also myself, are not trained enough. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not train ourselves enough with a new term, with a new language, with a new uh, conscience. But it will come while walking. We see already how, how, when you start, there's no other, you cannot learn how to swim on the internet, right? You cannot teach a baby how to walk in the university. You just have to start walking, and fall, and walk and fall, and, and that's how these, 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 these language and this conscience will be created. And this is what Zabud is doing. I cannot promise you that every time you'll hear Albert giving an answer to a, a, a religious guy, it will be the perfect answer that will knock off all his uh, fears. Yes. I cannot promise that every time I will answer a, a non-religious uh, Israeli, it will calm him down, he will be comfortable enough to vote Zabud. But I can tell you, but already now, there's an unbelievable shift of young Israelis from Meretz to Zehut. Okay? Things are happening. Things are happening. Okay? And, uh, and of course, and Haredim, of course, that, that, that I don't need to tell you. That, that it may, may be easier to, to, to understand. It's happening also. There is something here that take the Israeli society to the next level. After 2,000 years of exile and, uh, and uh, divisions, all kind of divisions, between all kind of ideologies, we're coming back to El Israel and now we're starting to come back to ourselves, to our basic uh, uh, um, uh, Say, uh, culture. Culture. culture to who we are and the old terms become irrelevant become, become irrelevant you want something you want to add something on it yeah just uh, it, uh, I guess from my own practical experience about a year ago long before I officially joined the Ut, I, I was invited to give talks to El uh, Amachar uh, right uh, basic groups of young kids, well, not that young, but kids, let's call them, in Zeut, and I was asked to speak about economics, and I think those groups are mistaken, they're organized by Amitza, right? 
And uh, the way I speak about economics, I usually like to combine, you know, the economic talks, which is more about, you know, efficient allocation of resources and how economics move, works much better when it's, uh, you know, being unleashed by from the government. I'm in the middle of a political meeting, but. Just my son. No, but the music is from where? <laughs> it's it's, Star Wars, it's, it's just a great piece of music. <laughs> uh, from yeah, some science fiction. Like Ask him to damn. call again. No, from uh, Born Identity. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's from Born Identity. Right, right. 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 Great music. Um, yeah, so anyway, when I speak about economics, I combine uh, economics and also freedom, right? Which is that in economics, so when the us, you know, the uh, public is being uh, freed up from the control of government, the economics or whatever, welfare is uh, we're more prosperous, but also it's more morally right because we're free. And uh, whenever I spoke, um, do you know where this comes from? <laughs> that's, that's, not, that's not as exciting, I have to admit. That's not science fiction. <laughs> Uh, where was I? Yeah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'll make it no children. We're testing you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, basically, whenever I spoke about the, uh, you know, the qualities of morality when it comes to freeing up the economy, and as it is just more moral for people to be able to do what they want to do, the, um, the room was very, very much in sync with what, what, uh, what, what I was saying. What I'm trying to say is that freedom or liberty or liberalism or whatever you want to call it is the common denominator here and it seems to work in uh, uh, to my surprise in social issues almost as well as it works with economic issues so I'm not that worried about uh, divisions not not divisions but uh, um, differences in opinions between two or more than two different groups inside the hood because we do seem to share a very deep common affinity for freedom. Thank you. Uh, in fact, I would like uh, to give a much better answer to your question, at least shorter than the one that Dan Mochi gave. <laughs> and to do so, I will only repeat what I said when I was uh, called on the scene at the first conven national convention of the Oud, which took place in Tel Aviv a few months ago, in February, I think. Uh, I said, I said uh, that when I came uh, on Aliyah in Israel, uh, to Israel 23 years ago, I was amazed by the number of people who asked me, are you religious, <laughs> or are you orthodox, or are you liberal Jew, or are you an atheist Jew, or are you a, a Haredi, or, and, or are you anti-religious? <laughs> and to all those questions, I replied, I am a Jew. The second set of questions I was I was asked was, you're from France, but are you Ashkenazi? <laughs> are you Sephardi? And maybe you are an Oriental Jew, or maybe you're a mix, or maybe how many generations? And to all those questions, I said, I am Israeli. That's it. <laughs> the world, the world Zehut, is all about that. The subtitle of our party is a Jewish Israeli party. And that's the root. Thank you. Very well said. Any questions from women? Chava. <laughs> <laughs> so when we went to the convention in February, um, there was a Israeli Arab who spoke. Yeah. And there were some other there were some other minority groups within Israel who were supporting Zahut. None of them ran as candidates. What are we doing to reach out to those minority communities? Because I think that at least for me, that was actually very positive in seeing that 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 um uh, that people who were in the minority still felt that this was the right party for Israel. <clears throat> okay, uh, you're right. We, we did 
tr we tried very hard to convince um, a Jerus guy yeah. to run. At the end, he decided he don't want to, and uh, up till now, we have no idea why. We afraid that somebody feared him in some way. It looked okay. like that there's some kind of problem there that we, we don't know exactly why. Um, <clears throat> And we very much tried to convince two Haredi guys to run, and uh, for some reason, again, that I don't know, they pulled out before the beginning. Again, I don't know why. And uh, at least about the Haredi, Haredi representatives in the list, I feel that this is exactly the reason why we decided that uh, there'll be uh, the, the chairman of the group will have an ability to add people at the end because. But uh, to give us the microphone, you got it? You got it? The microphone. The microphone. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Um, I very, very much want to see at least uh, one or even more uh, Haredi representative representer in, in the list. <laughs> Um, something is missing over here. You're putting your your, your finger at the, at, the, uh, at the true the point. Problem. That's a real problem, and I uh, hope I, and, and and we have the ability to fix it according to our uh, to our platform and according to our chart. Okay, right. Yosef, last question, and then we have to go. Okay. Uh, Shmuel Seak has said that uh, the elections are another two years, maybe less. Uh, this is a question for, not just for Moshe, for uh, all of it, maybe for everybody here, but let's ask Moshe first. But the, uh, if you had your druthers, when is the best time for uh, to have elections? If you have what? Uh, yeah, druthers. If you could. If you have your choice. Okay, okay. 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 best. What is the best for you to have It totally, it totally don't uh, uh, matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No. I mean, we have no way. I, as far as I can think right now, so it, to, uh, he wants to know what what you think would be the best. Uh, if yeah, but but, uh, but 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 the nice question I have to say that is totally irrelevant because it doesn't depend on us. It does not depend on us at all. Okay, it's okay. all about Netanyahu. It will happen yeah. either on time, which has very poor chances of being on time, uh, or. And Netanyahu will feel that this is the best time for him to to go for election. It can be. I, mean, I can tell that we sat with the just last week with the minister, it was ex-minister in, in the government. We're sitting with many politicians, some in the Knesset now, some, some some not. Many of them looking to be uh, in touch with us, see the potential, wants to be in, in you know. In the area, in our in our eye sight, and uh, uh, he said that it's either this uh, 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 winter or the next winter. Okay. When when is the best for us? He does is probably right. As, uh, the, the later, the better, because we need the time. We feel that we are in the right direction. We. Uh, uh, we we, we ga gathering more and more power towards towards uh, the way, but we have to be prepared and not and do whatever we can not to be surprised uh, if it will come like immediately. That's it. Okay, Moshe. Okay. I I apologize. I can answer one one more question because I have another. Important meeting in Yerushalayim, but I have to be on time. So, okay. anyone wants Here's to ask me another question before Here's I go? Yes. I have a question. I, I talked to a lot of people about the that I meet, and, the, and there's still a lot of people who look at the oath that it's they call it a one trick pony, that it's Moshe yeah. Faglin. And I, the, the picture has to be out that it's a lot of people put together, <laughs> Gilad, you have Albert, every, Lisa, everyone together. That it's a bigger picture, and it's not just a partisan, mm -hmm. one focused thing. 
That, that word has to come out somehow so people see it, has to. people understand it. That's part of the reason why we need as much time as possible before I don't the know, about what, what, what is in the plan, that how, how that message is getting yeah. out. Yeah. Look, the system, I'll answer this question and then I'll give you the microphone and I'll, I'll, I'll have to do it. Uh, the system we created gives these, uh, 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 send these gentlemen to work, okay, because the fact they got elected at the primaries is not enough. Now, uh, uh, they have to go through another stage before the election of open primaries, where the entire population of Israel will decide, will number them, one, two, three, okay, will we'll number them, uh, will we'll decide who comes first and who's, who comes second which means they have to run around and work very hard and, 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 and expose themselves. They're not elected yet, okay? And by doing that, obviously, the, the people of Israel will see them and will realize that there's a list of people of here uh, and not just the uh, Fagman. You should know, nevertheless, we already now, we took a serious poll and already now, my name is out there. People know me, I mean, to be exact, 84% of the Israelis know who Fagman is, which is better than most of the, the, the ministers in the government. Right? Yeah. I, no, that's very good. That, that, is very, that is very good. We have a name. We don't starting from zero. The name of Zahut, the, the name of Zahut reached already, 29% of the Israelis, almost a third of the Israeli population knows about the party in Zahud, which is a tremendous achievement. Okay? So, we hope to get to the election after we double it. So we're talking about 60%. And after the uh, open primaries, hopefully to reach also these numbers, 70-80% of the Israelis who knows about Zahud. If we get there, we did it. We did it. Yeah. Can you bring some of the candidates on TV interviews, like a different one each of course, time? Of course. And then you speak, yes, you yes. give them an answer. We, we, we want to hear one of our. We already do it. We already do it. We did it with Nisa. We did it with Gilad. We'll do it with all of them. Each one of these candidates represents different parts. For, 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 for example, we have a candidate. Uh, that represent the voucher system in the education system. So we're gonna we're gonna push her to the media every time they talk about uh, education. Of course, when we talk about e e economy, we're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, push ahead Gilad and Albert. And when we're talking about uh, Aliyah from France or, or, or Aliyah together, Albert, the guy. So. So I'm then we we'll can't do with you at the same time. In other words, if they just see Albert, they might fly over their head. Zuhud, fake. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. They don't, they don't, they don't them, give you exactly not. to do what you want. But we're trying to, to push them to the media. Also. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I, I thank you. Now,